base to farm, then Moon's going to be copying a hard time as well because the Storm Spirit needs an equal amount of investment early on on that hero. We will get into game number one of this best of three between Adroit and Fnatic. Again, Fnatic are yet to really uh, drop a series. A bit rough for Mac though, like that Flame Guard just getting burnt through so quick. Moon just needs to really land one Static Storm and Boomy. Bot lane actually ends up fighting first blood onto Jabs. Isn't afraid to just dip out of his lane and just get something done in the map. Jabs, bot lane has been caught out again on the Chen, and he will get Boundless Strike to death. And to be fair, if you ignore Bristleback, sometimes that is enough. If you're not actually hitting the Bristle, his mana pool early on is kind of limited. Is spotted oh, out. He's going to be in big trouble. Boomy catches him out before he takes the big creeps, and now Mac will come in. Savage. He does have the chemical rage, but he's taking a lot of damage. In fact, those are uh, those remnants weren't enough. Meanwhile, while that was happening, Moon he found Natsumi down at the bot lane. I believe that was his magic stick charges that really kept him up during those remnants. And in fact, now CML ends up going down. DJ the one to pick it up on the Nyx Assassin. It's attempt coming out. Though I highly doubt it as Ice 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 is going to get jumped on. Natsumi didn't quite connect with the Primal Spring. We have some uh, Whirlwing Rippers. Starting to get those uh, Cyclones or torn Tornadoes out. But the problem is Jabs has been caught out by Mac on the Ember. And that will probably mean his life is gone. Natsumi will pick it up. In fact it's Mac who confirms the kill. Ice Ice Ice, a nice outpost still, just before that 10 minute mark, and he, he's always been that kind of player where he, if you're not watching, he will just take something away from you without you even realizing it, and now he's going to make a run for it. He should go down and does, but he bought out, and he found he denied the outpost XP from the Dire, and I... DJ gonna have an attempt here onto Bok as Moon will also come in. They do stun up the Bristleback, and he really isn't as tanky as you would hope. Bok, can you get out of this? Not quite. Moon will be able to claim the kill over that bristle. We have a call in from a Chen, and he is going to get sent up top, but Ice 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 does go down the bot lane. There are all these kills happening across the map. I, you could make the claim Ice Ice Ice, he's just more than happy to distract the side of the droid and just keep them coming his way. Mac won't really follow up though. I say that, he is starting to run forward, but I doubt he'll dive the T1 tower. Meanwhile, Moon ends up finding a kill onto Natsumi bot lane, and they are trying to chase down DJ on the Nyx Assassin, but CML gets caught out by Moon. Vortex gonna be there, Bok trying to help out. Moon, he is out of mana. This could be a big kill, but no, DJ with a spike carapace, but the impale, it won't connect. This may be the opening Bok needed, but Moon, he waits for the Ember. He remnants oh. forward. The only problem was Doomy or Boomy, did end up getting the purge off before he did zip away. And now Ice 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 will also end up going down once again. And that is actually going to be a pretty nice win for a droid. Uh, he's already got the most expensive parts of it. He's just farming so efficiently on this alchemist. And now they ping him out. They know. They see what he's got. But mid lane, there is a jump going on here. Fnatic find Mac on the Ember. And that is a huge kill. You know, without Mac being available on the map, I I don't really think you can kill the Elk. Well, to be fair, Bounty Runes are up in 15 seconds. We all know how uh, how Alchemists like to secure those. Definitely loves him, and that should give him the gold for the heart. Like, he's the recipe away, 100 gold. I think the stack will give it. He does have it. He could just fly it out now. He has a heart, Radiance, 15 minutes in. With a Phase Boots and Soul Ring as well. It, it's been a fantastic time for free farming on this Elk. This is not what a droid wanted, but it seems like they got kind of baited into this. A Savage now willing to take a team fight, going straight onto Bok, gets the full unstable concoction duration, and with that impale, he has plenty of damage. The Bristleback does not tank anything. Now Moon jumping in the back, going after Booming. They also found CML who gets oh. a blinding light, but it just doesn't matter. Three going down, and there's the heart being completed. That was after the team fight. <laughs> He's kind of dealing an okay amount of damage, but Moon, he just jumps on Boomy now. Clearing out another support. I don't even know if the Spirit Vessel is enough at this point. Like, it feels like it's nowhere near. <laughs> just to I mean, be I sure, guess what? Oh, jumping. here they come. Mac jumps in. Chemical Rage is, uh, is a problem. 
Mac, do you have the vessel? Yeah, you do. There's another stun coming out. Savage, he's starting to melt slowly but surely. And Bok really starting to add up those pool sprays. They get another chains off. Meanwhile, Wukong's command going to be in the back jabs. He will be the target. Jabs just tanks the gank. Savage just walks away freely. And the Wukong's command not going to have that combination. And Savage is not even out of that jungle. Well, he's got... <laughs> he's got Chemical Rage again. They use another Spirit Vessel to charge. Mac, and they're actually dealing a lot of damage, Savage. I think you may have overextended <laughs> on this one. And alright, they do have the damage output. Savage is going to just take the tier 2, although here they go. They jump onto Savage, but he again has that Chemical Rage to the ML. Going to go straight away. Now the Wukong's doing a fair bit onto Savage with that Spirit Vessel, but it's not going to be enough. In fact, Jabs controlling up with these Centaurs. They will be able to get Bok now on the Bristleback. Buyback's flying out. And Adroit, they've got to be careful. They're going to have a few diebacks coming out if, they're, uh, if they keep going in like this. In fact, Savage is still chasing Boomy, who has no way out of this situation. And he just understands he's going to have to die alone in the woods. Moon will pick up a complete Ultra Kill. Manic can go for a T3 tower. And they will. And uh, it's actually only, not going to take very long. They've only got one charge in the Spirit Vessel oh, left DJ. as well. Spy Carap is set up now. The oh, Unstable man. Concoction does connect. The Ember also going to die back. In fact, it's not a dieback. He just doesn't have the gold for it. But how do you stop this uh, this top racks going down now? Just there's just no way. Savage has a stun, throws it out, ignores the bristleback. Everyone just walks in and claims a racks. It's that easy. Yeah, just like that. A droid cannot defend that that tanky frontliner in the bristleback. Just if you ignore him, he's not a pack. He, he just doesn't do enough at this point just yet. He has his AC up, so you can't really right CML. click him down. Actually, there is going to be the chains out. Mac getting the Ember now. Another follow up route with the Will O Wisp. They might find Moon, oh. but he does have that Bloodstone active. He will be able to zip away just in the nick of time and survive this as Savage. Moving in on the Alchemist, but now he's in the middle of that Wukong's command. This is very dangerous. Disruption will be there. They'll get those Alchemist illusions. And Savage is now hurting himself quite a lot. Do Fnatic want to take this team fight or not? It looks like they do not as they try to run out, but no, Savage. He wants to go back in now as Moon oh. jumps straight onto CML. He just needed a reset. He'll get both supports. It'll be a double for Moon as now they're looking towards Mac on the Ember. Moon is not done with this fiery spirit as Mac is completely out of mana. But Moon now being chained up with the spirit si spirit vessel. He does zip out in time. DJ with the spine carapace will hold Mac down. That'll be it. Fnatic. They find three very nice kills. They lose their Chen. But I believe they will have some time to go after that mid rat. Yeah, again, there's not going to be any strong concession here from Android. In fact, they might lose Bok if they're not careful. Savage is going for it. Get the stun off. Bok is facing forward, and, well, the blinding light will save his day. Bok doesn't really have a choice. He needs to keep going forward and getting those cool spray stacks up. Like, if he backs out, how do you defend? Meanwhile, Moon... He's just farming creeps right now. He may need to help out his team a little bit, but he's just waiting for the perfect moment. Now Natsuvi comes in. Bone supports are starting to follow, so Boomy will get jumped by Moon straight away. Now Bok has to run back to the base, but Moon is not done. He will finish the job off, but he's been oh. chained up, and Moon will end up losing his life. The buyback now comes out from Bok as he wants to try and help out while the storm is down, but Moon, he also buys back. They're just going to go up all again into a 5v5 engagement. A savage... Goes after the dieback on the bristle, but Moon, he wants those tasty tasty supports. In fact, no, he gets the Ember. Savage is the one to pick it up with the uh, with the Radiance. And Adroit are just throwing all their gold away, trying to defend his base. But no, the double spike Carapace, the huge Willow Whisper from CML, just holding them all back. But I don't think it's going to be quite enough as Savage moves forward again. Mac, he will avoid the stun thanks to the disruption of Boomy. But DJ, with just the constant stuns on the Nyx Assassin, he will go down in the end. 
And you know what? Adroit, they do successfully defend, only losing that tier 3 tower. In fact, they're going to go for more now. Savage, he doesn't have the chemical range for another 20 seconds. He needs to buy time, or he needs his team to buy time, but he is falling way too fast. Jabs, can you keep him alive? There's the heal of God coming out. Savage still falling quite low, and he does oh. finally drop. And Adroit now need to capitalize as much as they possibly can. They'll jump onto Jazz, but Moon again in the back lines with that Bloodstone. Oh, He'll find man. CML. He's going after Boomy. He is surrounded, however. Can he get out? He can bore Lightning. Do they have a TP cancellation? Natsumi, oh. he can't get it in time. The balance strike just Ooh. half a second too late. Lead here for Fnatic. All three here are severely farmed up. Oh, man. Uh, It'll be all right. He'll manage to get out of there. It's it's a lot. Like they, they've got to kill Savage so many times here. I don't think Off. they just have it. Mid lane disruption gonna save him. Unstable concoction not gonna land. In fact, it's gonna stun up Savage. And now is that their opening? Not quite. The stun does wear off, and Savage he runs in now. They have their oh. own spirit vessel, and Bok is falling very very low. Moon jumps in to get the job done, and you do not have buybacks available on the BB. Now Wukongs will come out but Savage, oh. he pops the BKB, CML has dropped now as Natsumi tries to man fight but Moon is just way too disruptive on that storm, they're just taking everybody out and I have a feeling that GG Corp may be coming very very soon as Mac almost dies but it doesn't matter, they're going after T4s and the GG has been called. Oh. Fnatic taking a very very convincing game number one. Definitely. It on paper, this was supposed to be the most even game. Adroit number two in the rankings, Fnatic number one.